Hello, so welcome back to Case to Crafts. I just want to fit in one more video um, today and I know I showed you a Budley Crafts haul when they had the nice sale on and um, I ended up going back there again um, because I needed some more little magnets for my stamping tool and um, I couldn't find all my, my sort of usual the other sites that I normally go and didn't seem to have any in or required um, a lot of shipping. So as you can see, they seem oh hello, they're <laughs> definitely very strong. The um, and I got four and how much did I pay for four? So these weren't on any sale. This is um, just what they normally ask. This is four for two pounds forty nine, which is a good price for little magnets. Um, they go in your stamping tool. Oh, the lighting doesn't seem seems very interesting, doesn't it? Let's attempt something else on the old lighting. So yeah, so they didn't come in any packaging. They just came inside a plastic bag with a bit of, um, I guess that's like tissue paper. But they seem absolutely fine. But I'll tell you the reason why I had to pick up some more. Um, and you can probably guess. <laughs> It's obviously because I broke the last ones and I'd had them for a while and I've heard people saying, you know, don't let them snap together or they break. Um, and I, I don't intentionally ever let them snap together, but they have done in the past. But this time, in I think the space of a week, two of them managed to um, to break. They just crumble into two. So, um, yeah, I really, I find in this one, I like to have... Four. I hate it when they move around. You hate it when the images move around when you're trying to stamp them. Um, so I've currently got two in there. So I'm going to put two more in here from this pack of four. And I'm going to put two in my um, Tim Holtz one. And I know you're probably all screaming at me. Well, why don't you put the washi tape around it to uh, make them easier to handle? And I'd never bothered doing that in the past. As I said, I never had an issue in the past. But um, I am going to do that now. And yeah, I'm happy with that price. At the moment, they seem... They're probably thinner. No, probably not the same. This is the Tim Holtz ones I bought, the tonic ones, and this is one of the ones that I think came with my Hampton stamp art stamping one. And then this is the one I've just bought. So they're probably a bit thinner, but they seem definitely seem as magnetic. Maybe slightly, slightly less, but um definitely enough to hold it together. So for for two forty nine for four, that's the cheapest I've seen. And as I say, it just happened to be where I could find them and um, that we're going to deliver them quick enough and without requiring loads of um, me to buy lots of other things that I did, didn't need. But I did buy some other bits and pieces. I'll show you from Budley Crafts. But and when you order from Budley Crafts, you get the little Marianne Designs um, catalogue. This is the August 2018 one. And I'll just show you in case you're interested in what Marianne Designs has got coming up. Does do some very cute dies. Don't tend to buy them, but um, so it's nice to know what's out there. Let's fold it like that. And they show you some examples of how they have been used. So these flowers look very cute, don't they? That one looks lovely with a star. You've got some decoupage. I don't do a lot of decoupage at all, but you know, they're nice. This looks nice, doesn't it? That um, layered up robin. Do you like a good old English bird, the old robin? Um, and they look nice. It was a stencil. I had to read that more closely. That's nice for a stencil, isn't it? That's pine cones and leaves. That's cute. Uh, what have they got over here? Some dyes. They're pretty. And there we go. Nice woodland animals. I do like my woodland animals. Very, very British. And some other little bits and pieces. That's a bit simplistic for me, but cute, I guess, for Christmas. Yeah, so that, that one came. <laughs> then what else did I pick up? So I did go back and get another stamp. So I know a lot of people looked on there saying oh, there weren't many um, stamps left on there, but they did still have some CC designs on offer. And these were still on offer for the um, for £1.95. And yeah, I like that. I love the way that these um, rubber ones stamp and they're just so cute. I was showing this in my last video, how cute these little girls are to colour up. And look at her in her pretty dress. She's going to be really good fun to colour up. 
I've um, got no real projects in mind, but sort of a £1.95, I, you know, for something that I like colouring, I picked that up. Um, and then the only other thing I think that was on in the sale that I wanted, I thought, because I quite liked these um, little, they're not chipboard, are they? They're grey board, which I think just means thinner than chipboard, um, but thicker than a, a piece of card. Uh, they had some of these ones that are frames. Let's just check. So this was 82p, a little bit more than that, because I bought the other ones that were like, um, not like, they were. I hate it when the children say like. Um, they were those little sort of bauble um, shapes to make hanging decorations. I'm going to pull this out, not pulled it out before, because I think it makes it easier. This one's going to make a little frame. It's going to take a bit of effort to push that out without damaging it, but it should make quite a cute little frame assuming I don't damage it so as you can tell by grey board it's a lot more fragile obviously it would be great if you were doing any kind of mixed media because it would just kind of blend in really naturally to what you were making but um, I've still got quite a few bits to to push out let's check I haven't damaged that um, but I thought it would look really nice just as like a frame a variety of frames I just thought I'd give it a go you know whilst it was on offer try it out see what I thought of it because it's not going to break the bank at 82p and yeah just a cute bit of fun so I wanted to just make um just add a few more things in just to sort of justify um ordering so I picked up some inks that I wanted so I got one of the distress oxide colors and antique linen so I've got this in distress What's the other one called? They're just Distress Ink, and I do think this is quite a good colour, really, for ageing stuff because it's quite, um, it's quite natural, isn't it? So I wanted to get in the, the oxide. I've only got a small one in the ink because um, it will go on really nicely. So I picked that one up, and then I've got a couple more of the mementos. So I really alternate between which inks, coloured inks, I'm going to use because um, I've got Lawn Fawn inks, which I really like. Um, but I do still like these memento inks, and I hadn't got these colours, so I wanted to pick up like a nice light. Um, brown and a teal one because who doesn't like a bit of teal so yeah so I, I picked those two up so little um dew drops are one pound 69 and if you were to get um the distress oxides are 4.99 so it's a good price for distress oxides because they do vary i think they're seven pounds in hobbycraft um and that's a reasonable price as well for the mementos so um yeah reasonable prices for all of that stuff so that's what i picked up from budley crafts um, and then I picked up a few bits from Dyes to Die For because they were having a sale and free shipping. So I think it was 15% off. And this funny package is um, somebody's stamp. I think these are MFT stamp pockets. So I'm guessing from the way they've done it is it was from a big pack and they've broken them down to make them a bit more affordable. That's really horribly glary, isn't it? But basically I bought 10 of the small ones um and i've got my little price sheet i haven't kept it for that but they you know it wasn't very much it was either under two pounds or about two pounds fifty and the reason i wanted these was for stamps like this one so a bit of a better size and you know what she can come straight out and go in there because the thing about these stamping pockets is they're so much more sturdy and that is why it is worth switching it out from the original packaging into these so that they don't break so yeah it was a good price and obviously i got 15 percent off as well so i don't mind that they've taken them out of the original packaging um because it just makes it more affordable so i'm not gonna complain about that and whilst i had the 15 percent off sale and free shipping i picked up some other bits that i'd wanted this is the um dies to go with the honeybee stamp set which I think I used in a card to show you the other day. This one, the snow, are they called snowbirds? Yeah, snowbirds, I picked up last year. And I really like this stamp set, so I thought, why not treat myself to the dies? Um, because Christmas is coming again, and these, and also the birds, they could be used any time round, but um, they're just really cute. They're really nice ones, so yeah, nice to get that whilst it was on a good offer. I picked up this die. 
I don't know whether I paid five pounds or probably a bit less because obviously it was on the, the sale and I think this was possibly in the sale section as well. Um, but the main reason I got this was I wanted a cheers die. I think I've mentioned this before to go with my um the drinks stamps that I've got. So it's a very slanty font there. I haven't tried cutting it out, but it does look like it's going to be very delicate. So hopefully it will cut out nicely, fingers crossed. If not, I'm going to have to get another cheers die because that is something that I want, but we will see. So it looks nice there. If I can um, cut it out nicely and achieve that. Cute little packaging that they put their um, dies in, isn't it? This is memory box, isn't it? Yeah, memory box. So that was that one. Um, and last of all, from there, they had this in their sales section. This is one of the whimsy stamps. It says ten pounds in there, but that's not what I paid. I paid. It was already reduced, and then obviously I got the fifteen percent off. Um, and having been back to school and all that, I've not had a chance to play with any of these. But they are these very cute little dogs, very sort of classic kind of whimsy style, aren't they? But what do you call those? Like a spaniel, maybe? I'm not sure you can tell me. But aren't they? I just think they're adorable. Um, think about them. I've got to cut around them, I've realised. I have to do my own cutting around them, which will be a challenge for me to get it right. But I do like a nice red rubber stamp, and that was a good offer. And I just like the dogs. I do like my animals, so I picked that up. Um, and just to finish it off, I'll show you something random, which won't mean anything at the moment to you, but um, until I've really used it. But I was in Primark, and they had these silicone sponges for 30p, and I thought, 30p, that's very cheap, isn't it? I wonder if, they're for blending your makeup, I wonder if I could use them for crafting. And I thought, if they don't work at all, I've only lost 30p and I could probably live with that because I could lose that down the sofa. Um, so if I grab a bit of paper, it seems to be a struggle at the moment. There have to be this nice piece of card here. I can open up my Distress Oxide and we'll just have a quick go and see whether or not that is humanly possible. Um, and obviously it does transfer it over. Is that going to be a good idea? I, At the moment, it's still undecided. Probably would work better if I had a stencil to try it out. I'm trying to think why I keep my stencils now. Moved everything around, haven't I? It's in one of my drawers. So let's try it quickly with a stencil and see how effective this is going to be. I'm not suggesting you all rush out and spend, spend your hard-earned 30p on it, but you know, why not give it a go? Uh, I would say probably not a very effective, <laughs> yeah, definitely not effective really as a sponge. And, and you're probably all screaming at me, well, obviously, well, obviously, um, I don't know. I fancy trying it out. It does feel very nice. So if anything, I could use it as a um, what do you call it? A little rest for my hands when they get sore and tired. But there we go. So that was my other random purchase. But as I say, it was only thirty pence. So um, whatever I choose to do that now, I could even put that in my shoe, couldn't I, to to soften the blow of walking. But there we go. I will um, see you again very soon. Bye.